In this question, we're given a regular pentagon, and we're being asked to find the sum of the interior angles. An interior angle is the angle inside the shape. If we go to one corner and join to each other corner in the pentagon, you can see that the pentagon is cut into three triangles. If we look at all the angles inside the three triangles, and find their total, it will give us the sum of all five interior angles in the pentagon. So we have three triangles, each one 180 degrees. So the sum of the interior angles of a pentagon is 540 degrees. In part B, we're asked to find the size of angle X first. If we look at the given diagram, the angle X is one of the five interior angles. So the value of X must be the 540 that we just worked out, divided by five because there are five interior angles. And this gives X a value of 108 degrees. Finally, we're asked to find the size of angle Y. The pentagon is regular. This means all the sides are equal. So the side DE is equal to the side DC. So we have an isosceles triangle. The DEC is isosceles. We know X is 108. We just work that out. The other two angles inside that triangle are equal to each other. Let's call them M. So looking inside the isosceles triangle, 2 multiplied by M plus the 108 must equal 180 degrees inside that triangle. So if we subtract 108 from 180, we'll get 2m is 72. So angle m must be 36 degrees. Now, looking at the diagram, we can see that the entire angle d E A is one of the interior angles. So angle D E A is equal to 108 degrees. We can see that Y added to M gives us that angle D E A. So if we want to find the value of Y, we need to take the DEA 108 degrees and subtract the value of M, which was 36. And this will give us a value for Y of 72 degrees.